Hey guys, it's G, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be bringing the iconic birthday haul. I mean, it's not my channel if I'm not bringing you a birthday haul every year. So this year, it's my 22nd, well, it was my 22nd birthday. I have turned the grand old age of 22, which makes it feel a bit funny because 21 is like an all right age, but 22 makes you feel kind of like an adult, which is even more scarier. So yeah, here I am, 22 years young, living life. Bit mad really, isn't it? So today I'm gonna be bringing you a birthday haul. But before we get started, if you wanna give me anything for my birthday, it would just simply to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell on. And also, this sounds really weird and random, but you might have heard a few YouTubers talk about this. But if you can, please watch the ads all the way to the end because that tells YouTube that you're like watching my videos, you want to keep watching. It then helps my video. I almost recommend it to people. So yeah, it's a new thing that YouTube is doing now. So if you can, please watch the ads to the end, until the end. Um, and yeah, that's literally it. If you want to follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok, they will be both linked down below and obviously on the screen. But without any further ado, let's get on into the video. I'm praying to God this isn't out of focus. My camera is having focusing issues so badly. So yeah, if it is blurred, I'm so, so sorry. My first present, my gift that I got was from my little brother. And the first thing, well, it was like the first thing I opened, which was adorable. And he got me this little plush French Bulldog teddy, which I legit screamed when I got this because, I mean, look at her. She's beautiful. The brand of it is called Living Nature and it's actually made out of recyclable plastic, which is insane. It says, it says, it says, hang on. Made using recycled plastic. A stuffing is made from recycled post-consumer PET plastic, most commonly used in plastic bottles and food containers. So how cool is this little gorgeous toy? Absolutely love it. And my mum said that she ended up picking this one for me. Obviously for my brother to give it me, but she said it reminded her of Rue because when Rue was a little baby puppy, she had blue eyes and obviously it's very similar colouring like Rue is lilac and tan. So how gorgeous is this? And as well, it's just, it's, oh, I love it. Because I'm single. So at night I can snuggle her and she's absolutely Beautiful. I mean, it's a French Bulldog at the end of the day. We and not only does she remind me of Rue, but she also reminds me of a, another French Bulldog that we got involved with literally a few days ago. Um, so yeah, it's actually quite nice to have like both of them together in this, which is so cute. So yeah, she reminds me of Rue, but she also reminds me of another little gorgeous French Bulldog that, yeah. Whoa. The next thing that I've got was the Kayali Vanilla Perfume. Now, I have been wanting to try Kayali fragrances for ages. If you don't know, Kayali is Huda Beauty's like fragrance brand and their fragrances are insane. They've got, I think, four, four in the collection and Vanilla was one that I said that I think I'd really like because the notes on it is Vanilla Orchid, Tonka, brown sugar, amber woods and musk. Most of the fragrances that I absolutely love have always got like tonka in, like some kind of amber wood. Musk is my favourite and I think with this fragrance it is insane. So I actually sniffed it after my mum bought it me and then fell in love with it. Yeah, I've kept it in the packaging but I'm going to be wearing this so much. I've literally not even opened it because I've not really left the house but I'm so excited to spray this on my bod because I'm going to smell bloody delish. It is beautiful. If you like scents like me, you're going to love this. Um, you can also get like other ones to go with it as well. So I think I might even treat myself to the musk one so I can like, I guess, mix them together because that's the whole point. But yeah, I'm so happy. I didn't expect my mum and dad to get me the Kayali fragrance and here it is in my hand. So my fragrance collection is now growing quite rapidly. It's a very like day perfume. You can wear it. It's not it's beautiful, like the fragrance is it phenomenal, um, but yeah, absolutely love it. I'm currently wearing the next item that my mum and dad bought me, so they actually gave me this little, 
this little box which says Pandora on it. Now, funny enough, I've actually not really bought anything from Pandora. I'm not really a huge Pandora fan. If I'm honest, like I've definitely made more like purchases of other brands and indie brands, but I found this ring it reminded me of a Billie Eilish ring that she wears quite a lot. She wears a lot of like diamondy rings, like quite thick diamondy, full of gems rings, and I've always wanted one. So I saw it on the website and I sent it. Mum was like, "Listen, if you want to get me anything, I really like this." I've not took it off since my birthday which was a few days ago and um, i'll do a close-up of the ring for you so you can see but i think it is just the most stunning ring it's probably one of the most chunkiest rings i've got but i love it and i think with the size of it it suits being on my thumb really well so it's literally just pure like diamonds all the way around and it's quite thick so i've decided to put it on my thumb now i'm not really a fan of like my fingers like i don't really like my thumb i don't really like my hands but this on my thumb just looks absolutely gorgeous like i know you can't really tell but i love it like i absolutely love it i'm so made up with it i'm so grateful and i've been a bit obsessed with rings at the minute the last gift that my mum and dad got me is something that i've been wanting for years and i've never bought it and i don't know why and then when my mum and dad were saying like what do you want for your birthday because i didn't really know what to send them i did want this thing because i was like you know what i'm just gonna keep putting it off buying it myself i'm gonna send it mum because i know that she'd probably like most likely like this on me so i i have not got a pair of sunglasses that is like really oversized really black just all black um, and you can wear them with anything and some days when you don't want to wear makeup and i go out for a dog walk or i go and pick my brother up sometimes i want to wear massive sunglasses i think a few years ago these were like what celebs wore and everyone wanted them and then i ended up rediscovering them again this year and these are the after hour ones and they are matte black which we all know how I feel about matte black. I am obsessed with matte black so much. So it says Key Australia on the side. I just, I just adore them. Hmm? So cute. They are truly next level um, energy and I absolutely love them. Like the quality of them are amazing. Like I've not got any Key Australia sunglasses before. I've always wanted to. I've just never really ended up getting them. Um, and when I got them out, I couldn't believe how like thick they felt and they're not like heavy but they're not flimsy and they're gonna snap kind of thing they've got a bit of like weight to them the quality is insane and the matte black is just what made me want them so bad because i think matte black in this style is so different i normally wear a lot of round glasses or fashion glasses where i wear them on the end of my nose so these are really nice to whack on when i have them days where i'm just like don't want anyone to speak to me wear my glasses got no makeup on i'm made up i really am <laughs> then for my nana i've got this little bag here and she ended up giving me some money which i always say like you don't need to get me anything but she got me money and along with money she gave me <laughs> literally <laughs> of chocolate and i'm so not mad like hello if you know me you will know that i have been for years like i was always obsessed with terry's chocolate orange and she got me two like types of chocolate, chocolate orange she got me the box one like the actual orange the bar of chocolate orange and then she also gave me Reese's pieces peanut butter cups which was so amazing like we know how good these are they are just insane so i've got enough chocolate to keep me happy for the next month so thank you so much to my nana i love them this is the way to my heart <laughs> now from my auntie now if you don't know ash went to reading festival with us there's a vlog last year of us all going to reading festival which was wicked now she ended up getting me something that i actually did put like i sent a few links to my mum of what I would like probably buy myself but actually i was like you know what here's some things that i really would like but you don't have to get me and this was one of them and this is basically a, a chain anklet now if you guys know i've been wearing a lot of chain necklaces recently including this one what i'm wearing right now and i really wanted a silver chain anklet to go obviously on my ankle you thicko <laughs> 
but I really like the look of trainers on an ankler or trainers. They're so in fashion. If you see like public desire, their Instagram is full of like these thick chains with beautiful shoes. Now I was like, you know what? I really want it. So this is made out of stainless steel, so it's not gonna tarnish. I wanna be wearing this and not have green ankles. Thank you very much. So this is it and it's basically a chain with a thinner like detailer chain but it looks absolutely unreal like i don't know if you can tell but i'm obsessed like it is beautiful thanks so much ash and phil we love you and i can't wait to see you soon i miss her so much and yeah that's the crap reality of living up north i don't get to see her but when i do I'm excited. What I'll do is I'll leave a link to this anklet in the description box because the company that make them are really amazing. The quality is insane and they've like a really nice quality of chain as well. I can't wait to be wearing this. You're gonna be so sick of seeing this. Now the next gift I got was so unexpected. I had no clue I was getting this. My mum obviously knew about this which She's so sneaky. Now if you guys haven't heard me talk about Hope, Hope is actually a follow follower of mine and she's of course a subscriber. She is the most beautiful, incredible, gorgeous human ever. So generous and she's actually like made me gifts in the past. She's bought me gifts every single year. She's like the best friend I didn't know I needed and she's incredible so I love her to pieces. We've got a really good friendship and she sent me a moon pig card which has some of my Instagram pictures on which is so bloody cute. What she wrote inside the card is so beautiful and precious. I absolutely adore it and I think like honestly I'm so grateful to call her my friend like but yeah I absolutely adore this card and then inside this if this isn't me in a notebook I don't know what is it says sure my life isn't perfect but my lashes are it is so this is gonna be so good to be able to like obviously draw all my YouTube notes video plans things that I need to do so this is gonna be next to my iMac where she got me this cup and it says be beautiful which is absolutely gorgeous it's a pink polka dot mug but it goes with the actual notepad which is even more adorable like this is so cute so i'll be able to have a cup of tea in this as soon as i'm done with this video then we have this which was inside the cup now i couldn't believe like i mean if this wasn't enough she did this which i just can't believe she did this and she's absolutely like the most generous human ever and it says she put there's a gift card and she put 25 pound all my love hope she sent me 25 pound gift card for lounge because she knows how much i love lounge like i live in lounge and i just think that is the most generous gift ever and i just want to say thank you so much hope i literally love you with all my heart so grateful to call you the most incredible friend and i can't believe you spent money on me like literally it means the world just for you to be able to support me so to have physical gifts and then a gift card like you literally did not need to do that but yeah i just can't go over how generous hope is she's such an incredible beautiful girl and not only that she is a talented bloody queen so if you want to go follow her i'll put her instagram here she does incredible covers she sings and she's incredible like her voice is an angel so yeah i love you so much hope i can't believe it like i feel so lucky then for my other auntie who is just again the best she's like a second sister i love her and she ended up giving me the most beautiful gifts like these are the most thoughtful presents ever so she actually has started doing her own little business on creating these like wooden alphabet blocks so you can do like your name on them and if you want to go check her out on facebook i'll i think she has an instagram not too sure i'll try and leave it in the description and obviously i'll put it on the screen but she made me a georgia one which is so special and she's done it black and gold because we know I love black and gold so here we are I think it's dead cute and if you want something like this in your room or your living room or your kitchen imagine that in a kitchen oh my god that would be beautiful yeah there's so many like little designs you can do definitely check her out and then we also have this which I've never had anything like this before things like this are the most thoughtful gifts and the most precious and this is happy 22nd birthday Georgia and it's basically a photo book and she's put in the book all of my different pictures 
of me and like her favourite pictures of me she put my favourite picture is when I was doing the shoot with Blogosphere, me and my family, um, there's me and her on it. There, look at us, how cute is that? Like, I opened it and I genuinely could have burst out crying because things like this are the most beautiful presents and they mean so much. So, yeah, there we are again. <laughs> and I just love anything like this, physical things, like where you get to see physical photos. I couldn't believe that she even did this for me. So, it's so nice to have something like this to keep forever and be able to look back on. And then, last thing that she got me... When I tell you I screamed, when I saw this, I screamed. How unreal is this? So this is a painting. I'm not too sure of the artist, but I will leave her Instagram on the screen now. But So my auntie got this artist to paint Rue and she put it in a frame, which is absolutely beautiful. How unreal is this? I can't wait to put this up. Anything to do with my dog, I feel like it's just even better because it's just more personal and you guys know I'm a sucker for anything to do with Rue or Frenchies and I just love it. Um, I did not expect it and I can't believe I now have another beautiful painting of Rue so I'm so happy with it and I can't wait to put it up so thank you so much Leanne. I love you to bits and yeah all these gifts are so amazing and oh i just love them then for my uncle and auntie a bottle of champagne it's not a birthday without alcohol and i actually drank this on my birthday so that is why it's completely empty but i did keep it for this video so this is my champagne when i had this i was like that's my favorite champagne so yeah the rose one um and i'm not too sure what brand it is but it is beautiful they also got me this candle now this is a marmalade of london Prosecco and juniper candle now it's actually a soy candle now you guys know i love soy and this candle reminds me of a spa i'm so excited to light this i wanted to light it on my birthday but i was like no keep it nice for the for the video <laughs> but when i am done tonight i'm actually going to be lighting this because this is gorgeous. And I've actually not seen my granddad since my birthday. So what I'll do is I'll put in a little clip now of what my granddad got me because I'm actually not seeing him till tomorrow. But I'm filming this video today. So what I'll do is I'll put in a clip of what my granddad got me right now. the most beautiful present is from lounge now lounge actually sent me across some flowers which are absolutely beautiful i've currently got them here next to my little um like chair but how cute it's actually next to my lounge box which is actually in my living room anyway so how ironic is that but how beautiful are these flowers they got me some like really beautiful neutral ones and they've got little daisies on they are unreal. I think these are my favourite flowers I've ever been sent. But yeah, this is the card they sent me. And then inside, then inside they put, Dear G, wishing you the best birthday from all of us here at Lounge. Here's to another year of celebrating you. All our Lounge love, Maddie, Mel, Dan and the rest of the team. How beautiful is that? Thank you so much, Lounge. I absolutely love you guys. You guys are like my favourite people. You really are. So to get this from my favourite brand ever is just another, like highlight of my year so thank you lounge thank you mel thank you maddie thank you dan love you lounge so much this is so thoughtful and it really did cheer me up because i was like oh my god flowers i never get flowers so this is unreal thank you guys yeah that is everything that people got me i really have been spoiled once again i'm so grateful for all of my gifts a huge thank you to everyone who wished me a happy birthday and also to my amazing family for all the gorgeous gifts i'm so happy and yeah i'm always every year i'm always so damn grateful to have incredible friends support family and also the most beautiful gifts so thank you so much also thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed 
again thank you so much for your lovely birthday messages and i just want to quickly say that we won't be getting a birthday vlog this year just because something happened um within the few days of my birthday and obviously on my birthday that it just basically put my birthday on a bit of a bit of a hold bit of a not the best day i probably will explain what happened but yeah basically i didn't really I didn't actually film my birthday because i didn't really want to do anything um so it was a very quiet birthday and yeah it was actually quite nice to not film everything and just do a birthday haul for you so i hope you don't mind you're not getting one this year but there was not really anything i was doing anyway and i personally didn't didn't want to do anything i wasn't really in the mood to go out or anything so yeah but yeah, there's no birthday vlog, but instead I thought I would just give you a birthday haul instead. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's video. I do hope you enjoyed and I'm going to love you and leave you and I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.